hi um i thought i'd do like a little bit of a um like what i think of the team mum cast so just you know put out there this is just my opinion and yes i'm very opinionated so i just thought i'd do what i think of them so first is obviously going to be amber um i'm probably going to be the complete odd one out here i don't hate the girl i don't do i think she has a short fuse yeah do i think that she can be a bit abusive yeah um but i just i think she's a victim of her past does that make sense she's she doesn't know anything else and i don't think it's the mental health i i don't i don't believe that for one minute i just think that that is she's just a victim of who she is and that's really sad but it's but it's true um oh, i don't know this the the whole fourth of july audio slash video um i don't know i feel like there's more to it than than what we heard and saw excuse me um all the other audios except that one on the 4th of july we heard um andrew very calm very um subdued i suppose just when she when he knew he was being filmed and she didn't when it was they both knew that they were being filmed he did like i felt like he was gaslighting antagonizing antagonizing whether that's true or not i don't know nobody else was there you know there's three sides to this story hers his and then somewhere in the middle is the truth but for me on a personal level i feel there's more there's more that we don't know like there is there's just more to it than what it is and don't get me wrong i don't think amber's innocent i don't think amber's this that and the other because i don't i don't hate her i really don't i don't hate her um i don't hate andrew either to be fair do you know what i mean but i do feel that there's more to the story and i think over time more of this story is going to come out and i feel that more of this story is gonna is gonna surprise a few people i think that once the full and when they're both able to speak about it i think more of it's going to come out because there's things that i feel and i'm sure there's other people that feel it that there's just more there that's not that black and white yes she's um high maintenance she's high rate she gets on her high horse she does live she goes off on one but haven't we all been like that at times haven't we all gone holy crap right rah, 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 and then sat back and gone oh why did we do that and i'm sure she does that as well she just her levels of understanding and thinking okay think about this before doing it she's just impulsive she says boom i'm gonna do it i'm gonna tell her i'm gonna tell him so i i don't i don't hate her i'm sorry and i'm i'm sure that i'm gonna get some backlash for that but that's just my opinion that's just what i feel and i just what i think um caitlin and tyler <sighs> They used to be my favourite. Like, literally, their 16 and um, pregnant story is pretty much side and side to my story. When I was a teenager, I chose adoption for my child 26 years ago. Um, slightly different as in um, I got pregnant through um, abuse. Um, so, you know, a slightly different story. But 
if you do want to hear the story i i'm quite open about what happened just say in the comments and i will do a video about um my adoption story and my pregnancy and what happened and i'm very much of an open book everybody already knows so it's nothing for me to do a video on it but if that's if you want to i don't know um but going back to that um caitlin there's a few things that have annoyed me over the past few months with her um one of them being that she doing the clickbait for the pregnancy thing using pregnancy tests and stuff like that um i help women daily and i mean daily i wake up on facebook to a minimum 20 messages per day saying jojo um can you look at this test jojo can you read my chart jojo do i need to do this jojo my progesterone is really low jojo this jojo that and i help every one of them because i'm i'm a true believer in babies are a blessing babies you know when doctors sometimes say no there's nothing i can do it's because they don't know alternative stuff and I know that firsthand. I know that um, one of my ladies was told, nope, no way, there's no way, there's no way. She's pregnant with twins. And I know there is other ways. I know that there's no ever to give up. There's, there's always a way. So for me, I'm a huge advocate for um, miscarriages, infant loss. I um, admin a group, my best friend's group. It was... Um, I did have a group, but um, after I lost my mum, I, I kind of lost myself, if I'm honest with you. So I just didn't want to do the groups anymore. So my best friend took all of them over and I'm admin in the her loss group. And there's 11 plus thousand members in there. And every single one of them have dealt with a miscarriage, infant loss, cot death. Uh, you know so i'm a huge advocate for this so her doing clickbait for that hurts my feelings if i'm honest it really does hurt my feelings um macy to be fair she's so vanilla i'm really i'm near all there with her i i don't dislike her i don't like her there's there's nothing there's nothing to her i think she's she's a very very poorly boring person which is just like oh good god you know it's always ryan bentley jen and larry or mackenzie that's her storyline so that bores me a little bit if i'm honest so there's not really much i can say about her again the same with cheyenne and jade i don't know much about them i'm not interested in them sorry just my thoughts um Fera, <laughs> oh God, um, Fera's Fera. She's been like this. Okay, she's actually got a little bit worse, but she's she's been like this since sixteen and pregnant. She's a brat. She speaks to people poorly, but she's kind of non-apologetic for it. Does that make sense? She just doesn't. She doesn't care. She is what she is, and if you like it, all a bit, and do you boo do you because i really i don't care i don't care um chelsea i like her although the adam thing and the baby voice drives me potty and i'm like oh i can't even deal like i annoy myself when i do my baby voice to the children like i find myself going joe shut up you sound ridiculous and i hate it so but that's just again my opinion i do feel i wish they would show more of their real marriage not the show marriage that they show on the tv because nobody's marriage is that perfect i'm sorry there's no way on this earth anybody's marriage is that perfect it just there's no there's nothing to it for me um again brianna i think is um I feel like the three of them, her, her sister and her mum, are so codependent on each other that I feel like none of them could survive independently. They need to be together as that unit because they cannot survive without each other. And, and that's pretty sad. 
Um, sorry, my dog's going off because somebody's at the door. <laughs> I'll show you the door at one point because my dog is absolutely evil. Um, we was like, oh yeah, Brianna, being, she's very, very like codependent on her family. And her family are very codependent on her, to be fair. So for me, that's kind of a, I don't know, if, I, do, I don't like it. I don't feel that that's okay. But again, you do you, boo. Um, Kale, to be honest, I'm not keen. I'm really not. But I don't know. I just, I feel that she's so invested in Lux and Chris that I don't feel that Isaac or Lincoln get that full of attention. Or the fact that, like, can we just put it out there? Joe has fought tooth and nail to see this boy ever since 16 and pregnant. He gets no credit from her. And I just feel like she should be so grateful that these men, like Joe and Harvey, want to be that invested in the children's lives and want to be in the boys' lives. Because there's so many mothers out there that are begging and i mean begging their baby daddies to be involved in their children's lives to please 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 come to this do this do this do the other it's you know she should be a little bit more grateful and joe has spent so much money on court costs to tr to get that 50 50 custody that she should be like oh my god i'm so lucky but yet she doesn't clearly obviously um and last, obviously, but not least, um, Janelle. She just breaks my heart. Can I just say that? Like, I know I'm old and I get it, you know. Um, like, she's not that much older than my child. And it just, it breaks my heart. I do f feel like why she's the way she is is because of Barb and it's not because I don't like Barb because I do think she's absolutely hilarious but I'm not sure I could cope with my mother that invested like in my life constantly going on and on and on and on and on and on and on at me and which makes her literally cling to anybody that shows her attention to get away from her and that and that's sad that that's sad to me um and I, I don't know, I can't explain it as in like, I do feel that her relationships are to cling to somebody so hard so that she can get away from her mother so that she doesn't have to hear that in her, in her ear constantly. Like, you're a bad person, you're high, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing the other. You know, she very rarely, and sorry, Bab, I do love you and I think you're hilarious, but you don't you don't do any positive stuff for her. You don't tell her how amazing she is, how beautiful she is, you know, how smart she is and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, Janelle's done some shit in her time and holy moly, she certainly has. She's dropped some Uzis. But I'm hoping now after this David thing that she sees that there's better out there. And she doesn't deserve that. She doesn't deserve to be in a relationship like that. She doesn't deserve... Sorry, I call him Lurch, David. But Lurch is just... Like, he's so gross. He really is everything. Just gives me the eebie-jeebies. Like, when I see him, I feel like that dirty old man's looking at me. That dirty perv is like... Ugh, and he just makes me, my skin crawl. Does that make sense? Well, that's my views. Um, again, if you want to hear anything particularly about me or want me to do anything in particular, leave it in the comments. Um, if you want to hear my adoption story, I'm happy to do it. Um, or just if you want to do me, just what want you hear something about me, what I what I am, who I am, where I am etc again in the comments um uh i think that's about it really and i haven't really missed anybody i don't think and if i have then they're clearly not that relevant to me sorry 
Okay, guys, I'll um, upload this now and I'll speak to you later. Bye.